Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris, I'm your host. Today I have an extraordinarily special treat for everyone who tunes in. I know you guys love anything crypto related, metaverse related, web 3D related, NFT related, the wave of the fucking universe related. And what I did was, I brought on someone that not only is an awesome fucking human, but also happens to be a international considered expert in cryptocurrency who produced possibly Guinness Book of World Record millionaires last year, meaning the dude produced a potential Guinness Book of World Record amount of millionaires in cryptocurrency last year in 2021, a resident of Connecticut, someone that I inadvertently knew for a better part of a decade through mutual friends, my buddy in Russ, we trust. Russ, what's going on, bro? What's going on, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I was really trying to nail that intro. I appreciate the intro. Man, I feel special. <laughs> so today, today, Russ is going to talk to us about everything cryptocurrency. We're going to talk about Web3. We're going to yep. talk about Metaverse. We're going to talk about NFTs a little bit. Oh yeah, let's do it. We're going to talk about how to make some fucking money in crypto. That's what it's about. Me being a noob in crypto and only holding Bitcoin in Ethereum, yep. uh, how people can not only get involved, but maybe bridge from like long-term holds like Ethereum and, and Bitcoin into yep. things that you advise your high profile and celebrity clients on. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, it, uh, you, well, you know, you get your feet wet in crypto and the next thing you know, you're diving in. Once you, you know, educate yourself, hopefully I can uh, expedite the process there and you'll know what you're doing after the show. Hell yeah. Hell, guys, all we ask is if you have a comment, right? If you have a question for Russ, drop your comments in the comment section below, right? Russ is going to respond. And if he doesn't respond, I'll respond from talking to Russ and answer your questions for you. But I think you're going to respond, right? Absolutely. Yeah. This dude is awesome. Yeah. He's going to respond to all of your questions. Drop a comment in the sections below. Help this video go viral. Smash that fucking like button <laughs> and subscribe because we're going to get into it. Yep. Let's fucking go. Let's go. <laughs> all right, guys. I, that was a long intro. Usually my intros are pretty quick. However, this is going to be a much different format than you're used to. I haven't had a guest on in the studio in, in a while. I mean, primarily because of COVID yeah. and, you know, everyone's fucking sensitive and... I know, we're supposed to be six feet apart. Paolo wants us to be fucking on top of each other. Paolo so. wants us to be touching each other. Literally, like... Sit in your lap. What do you want for Christmas? Oh, all right. So oh. let's. So Russ, let's talk about how this meeting came to be. All right. Oh man, yeah. Uh, you, yeah, you take it. I'll I'll start with you know our good friend uh, Bill Rose. Yep. Uh, Bill Bill's Rose awesome. is a customer of yours. Uh, I'm, yeah, but I mean I've been friends with him for so long. Oh, I mean, so you've known? Him. Oh, just like over a decade. Yeah. Oh, so you've known Bill a long time. Yeah. Okay. As, as have I. Basketball team, like friends. Oh, you play ball? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Now it makes sense. Yep. yep. Bill Rose is a baller. Oh, yeah. Like, when I was in high school, Bill Rose was like the center for... Oh, he was like Shaquille O'Neal when I was high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Big motherfucker. Yep. Right? Like, I'm from Guilford. He's from Guilford. And we've always been friends, you know, 25, 30 years, something like that. You know, have we been close the entire time? No. However, over the past five, six years, we've done a lot of business together. We've helped each other. And that's how Bill is. You could pick up a conversation with him like, like you were, you know, hanging out all, all week. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, great guy. So the dude texts me around Christmas time and he's like, hey, Chris, can I, like, what kind of watches do you have on hand? Like, I want to buy my partner a watch. And, you know, as you know, one of the businesses I have is I trade high-end timepieces. Mm -hmm. So he bought his partner, his business partner, uh, a Brightline. 
a bright yeah. thing if you're if if anyone familiar yeah you're familiar if anyone's not familiar it's a major brand it's a great entry level watch you know you move a couple grand into it and it could be worth a few grand in in six months and anyways we're at we're at I took them out to Ch uh, Charter Twenty Three in Guilford or Chapter Twenty Three in Guilford or something like that. It's on the green. It's nice, you know. It's whatever thirty forty dollars a plate. And we're sitting there and we're talking and and I'm and he's like, Hey, I'm buying all these NFTs. And and I'm like, What really? What are you buying? <laughs> he's like, Oh, dude, do you know about my boy Russ? He's like, <laughs> Now, do you make those suggestions? What do you mean? Like uh, the NFT, the, yeah, the crypto talk oh, suggestion? Yeah, for sure. Crypto yeah, like, uh, talk? Crypto talk. Crypto talk. Nice. Yeah. So he starts telling me about all these. He's got like 30 of them. Yeah. Yeah, he's got like 30 fucking. It's a unique NFT. Crypto talk like, NFTs. They're strong. So they mind, sold out on, on my page before they could even release it to the public. Keep in mind, I'm selling him an actual Breitling. Crypto talk is taking. Uh, artwork, if you will, yep. of high-end timepieces yep. and turning them into NFTs and selling them for half an Ethereum, a full Ethereum, it's a, it's two, a multi, three, four, it's a multi five million Ethereum. dollar project already. Per per NFT. Yeah. And if you were like if you were on my page, we did a pre-sale for them. We sold out all their watches so they didn't even get to release it, like really to the public. So that's where Bill bought. Yeah. Yeah. Because so, he works with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's where Griswold probably bought. Yep. Yeah. And then Grizz uh, won a raffle, like a contest. He bought, the, he got the Audemars. And he, and he got like, you know, like a real $50,000, you know, watch to put on his wrist. And, um, but yeah, those NFTs are, I mean, that's, that's stage one. Like, Crypto crypt, crypt is not going to just go away. They're going to have version two, version three, blah, blah, blah. So these V1s are going to be very valuable for and, sure. And we're going to get more in depth into NFT as yep. this show goes on. I will say that the Audemars Piguet that Griswold won, I've had several. They're called Audemars Piguets, the rappers, the, the, yep. the celebrities yep. have them. Entry levels, 30 grand. It's crazy. Entry level. Yeah, it's awesome. It's entry level is 30 grand. So when you're talking about an entry level product of 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 grand, it's good shit. Yeah, it's good shit. So anyways, long story short, Bill brings you up and he's like, yo, do you know my boy Russ? And I'm like, what's his last name? And I'm like, fuck, that sounds familiar. Where the fuck do I know this guy <laughs> from? And we start talking about it, and I'm like, I know that fucking dude from the from the boat scene the in boats. Milford, yep. the River Shit Crew, uh -huh. Mike <laughs> Mike Peck, Mike Pollock, yep. uh, Matt Griswold, yep. uh, oh, all geez. these, all the Krista, uh, Krista Nash. What's the uh, uh, what's um, I forget her name, the hairdresser. Oh, Bernadette. Bernadette, exactly. Yep. Tom Johnson. Oh yeah. And we start shooting the shit. I'm like, wait, you know this guy? Like, <laughs> like. I would love to help him get his message out. Not that you need me to help get your message out, but fundamentally, my my brain went to how can I help this guy? You're the subject matter expert on cryptocurrency for CNN and Fox. Uh, yeah, mostly CNN. I've been on Fox, uh, Benzinga. Like their page has 25 million views a month. Um, just so many different projects. Uh, we're working on so many different things. We, you know, a year ago, people were working for me for free. Now we have 15 paid employees. It's crazy. Isn't it funny how quickly it scales? Like way, way quicker than we even imagined. When you're good at what you do. Yeah. <laughs> you're focused and you're putting a lot of work and you don't sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because cryptocurrency trades at 24 hours a day. Yeah, and it also changes every freaking day. You could be an expert today, you take a week off, and then next week you're a noob. <laughs> so you're considered a, an expert. Yeah, no, I, um, it's crazy, but uh, yeah, I mean, even like five years ago, I was such a noob, but um, you know, we started with our WhatsApp group, and um, I would say like 12 of us in this WhatsApp group. Yeah, back, tell, back tell me like, about this. You know, like seven years ago, and I was hearing about all these people making money in cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. I was like, I need to get into this. Like, I think I should. Now, if you were talking to any of like the 12 of us, I mean, you, you can't. Like, we're... Every single one of us is internationally known. If there was a CIA 
of cryptocurrency, that would be it. This is the skulls. The 12 people like the from CIA. WhatsApp? Yeah. Yeah. You know, like all of us just are doing such big things. And um, yeah, it's nuts how things have gone like crazy. And it's not an overnight thing. People are like, oh, it's overnight. No, well, we started like seven years ago, seven years. And then yes, things have taken off in this past year, but yeah, it's a, it's a fun ride. So, so back up a second. Being an entrepreneur of 14 years, so you're telling me, I'm blinking, all right? I'm <laughs> winking at you. You're telling me that it takes a better part of a decade to make millions of dollars. Because you can't just uh, fabricate uh, trust, and I'm not trying to do like a play on words on my, my brand. The thing is, like, you have to be in these communities where people know you. Um, oh, and, building relationships. And you have to be trustworthy. And oh. to be seven years pristine where nobody's ever, you know, been able to realistically bring up any dirt on me, you know, and like all and these other find guys. And they'll find it eventually. Like, but that's the thing. You've got people, I've got, I've got tons of haters. I don't fucking care. Oh, bro, so do You I. know what? And hey, they're always trying to find shit. Of course. And they can't. You or just they, showed me a picture make, of you and Eli from three shit days up. ago. Yeah, I was Eli Manning. Hanging out with Eli Manning in the city a couple days ago. <laughs> they hate on you because you made it. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> the thing. The, you know, it's like these people, whatever, fuck them. Yeah. But uh, you know, it takes. Uh, you can't build trust overnight. No. That's for damn sure. No, it takes years. And um, you know, we've all been through our ups and downs with our groups. Um, but you know, it started with this one WhatsApp group. Next thing you know, I'm in 37 different apps for cryptocurrency. And now I regularly work with people that I've never met, but I know I've been in touch with them for years from Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, uh, Dubai, China, Russia, everywhere. I mean, we all work together as if we're best friends because we know our track history, our track record is pristine. Like we don't fuck other people. Like yeah. that's it. Like we're not fucking anybody over here. So you can't make that shit up. No, you can't. Not for seven years straight. No. For seven you'll months? You'll be exposed. For you'll, seven months? Sure. Yes. Absolutely. But you'll be exposed. If, if you're a scumbag, and you know, that's when you know, we, we blacklist people. And if you're, you know, I, like I call us like the, you know, the OG, like 12. If any one of us says we're going to blacklist this person, that's big. That means you're, you're really screwed in the industry. Mm -hmm. you, you're not doing work anywhere. That's how it is in the watch industry. Yeah. If you fuck someone, you're done. You're cooked. Yep. I mean, we're so small. Yeah. And the point is fundamentally that it takes time to build credibility. Yep. It takes time to build wealth. It takes time to build understanding on how to trade. I was talking to you about how I was buying uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum during the recent drop. Yeah. And you were telling me, Chris, I barely own any Bitcoin. Yeah, I mean, look, Bitcoin is a great coin. It's the industry's standard. Um, everything relies on what Bitcoin and Ethereum do. But I am more of a numbers guy, so I'm going to look at percentages. Yeah. And, you know, Bitcoin right now, 41,000, 42 grand. Oh, is that over 40 again? Yeah. I don't even know. Yeah, I mean, but I, I don't even pay attention. That it's not relevant to what I'm doing. Right. But I see it. And, yeah, it might 2x. And let's say it goes to 80, great. I'm um, in other coins where percentage-wise, they're gonna 10x. It's a, it's money's money. Right. So I'm gonna buy this as opposed to Bitcoin because it's a better investment. It's right. not, it's a better coin, but it's a better investment for me and my returns. My ROI is gonna be through the roof. Right. So data, data and numbers speak, people lie fundamentally, yeah. right? And my my coin Coinbase is that yep. the is that the app mm -hmm. I have? You probably don't. Yeah, you Coinbase. Know. Yep. My Coinbase app sent me a notification the other day. It's like, oh, you've made ten grand, and I'm like, oh, great. But you made a hundred mm -hmm. recently. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. on a recent trade, right? Yeah. The um, yeah you know, the market was down, and um, I was waiting for the bottom. I, I I called it pretty pretty close to it, and so yeah, I invested another like hundred k into it. And um, it's, it's since doubled in the last like two weeks because that was the bottom of the dip. And I knew it had to rebound. Mm -hmm. It had to correct positively. Right. Because uh, the correction negatively was so drastic that it was just, you know, it had to go up. So, yeah, I bought a, a bunch of Ethereum, some of the stable coins. Right. I bought more Shiba, Bezos. Um, yeah, we just, some of these, uh, these are the coins I believe in. And, 
yeah, they all went pretty, pretty nice. And that's the point, right? The point that we're getting at is I'm a very new trader in cryptocurrency. I've only been in the realm for maybe two years, like tops. And I saw the dip. Once I saw the dip, I let it bottom out because as a new trader, I'm like, all right, let me let it bottom out. Let me see it come back up. Let me see it level out a little bit. Once it levels out a little bit, I know as a new trader, it's it's relatively stable. So that's where I'll buy in and I'll throw five, maybe 10 grand at it. You knew the dip was coming. Yeah and you capitalized on it and that's how you make six figures opposed to someone like me who's a noob who made five figures and you know it, it's really not about like the the actual like total money that you make like i said it's percentages so let's say like for instance uh, solana great coin a lot of people got in when it was 200 dollars. never heard of it well all right solana it's um, a a a different kind of like blockchain, like Ethereum blockchain or um, Binance blockchain. I don't want to get too technical. Sure. Basically, it's a great coin. Okay, yeah. look it up. And um, you know, if you got it in at two hundred bucks, and then it went down to eighty six dollars within you know the last two weeks, you you just have to do do math. And not everybody's great at math, but I'm a numbers guy. Buy the same amount risk tolerance at eighty eighty six bucks. Now your break even point is going to be, you know, $140 instead right. of 200. Right. So now you can profit at, when it goes over 140 instead of having to wait till it goes all the way back over 200, but that's a $500 coin within a year or two. So say I'm a noob, which yep. I am, right? Yep. I don't I know nothing about cryptocurrency. I just know that Bitcoin and Ethereum are awesome. And the name of this coin is what? Solana? Solana. Okay, so I'm 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 measuring my risk tolerance. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's at 200 but it drops down to 84. Yeah, so is that what um, you're saying? That, How do that, I do that, that scale? That is actually um that was just the market. Okay. Solana is a very good foundational coin, like a risk averse coin. Okay. It'll be solid for a long time. Okay. It's you you know, it's not going to pop up to a billion dollars. The thing is, you're going to make money on Solana. So, long term? Like, absolutely. Okay. It's a great coin. Yeah. Um Cardano like Cardano, a lot of people got in at $2.50. It went down to 99. I bought a shit ton of it. You know, it's up to like a dollar seven right now. But I mean, even that, 8% returns in four days? Come on. Yeah. Like, so you're, you're talking about look at that 8%. Look, yeah. look at that return. Look at, look at the percentage Stop. of the return. Don't, don't be looking at people being like, oh, like, what am I at? Win Lambo, blah, blah. You don't need a Lambo. Like, start with your, you know, thousand dollars and percentage wise grow it mm. just just patience and nobody has patience in crypto mm. i say to everybody two weeks in crypto people think is like three years so you just gotta have patience that makes sense to me because i think aggressive patients are what's key in life let alone business and maybe i can say crypto as well yep uh, and the interesting part about it is, I think, see, I know this, but I think you should educate us on how you got involved in cryptocurrency from that initial 12 yeah. and where it went with one particular coin, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so the thing is, if you want to learn about crypto, you can go on YouTube, you can learn a lot, but the best part is, if you want to learn Spanish, move to Spain for a year, okay? Immerse you, yourself. You know, immerse yourself. It's like osmosis. You're just like, oh, all of a sudden, I know it, you know, I know what Paola's saying. Like hiring a <laughs> Colombian. <laughs> Paola, what are you saying? No sé. No sé. No sé. No sé. Un poquito. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you know, that's the thing. I, I, I tell saturate people, yourself in. Saturate yourself yeah. in, um, in some proven groups, you know, like e even if you don't speak in these groups, uh, like I said, I'm in 37 different, you know, chat rooms and apps and this and that from WhatsApp to Discord, Telegram, oh, it's bullshit, but still you got to be in it, um, like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and you you're going to start learning things. Now, the, the bad thing, the downside is that, for instance, Telegram, 
they're most 99.99% of telegram groups are scams. They want, they're going to maneuver their way to getting what's called your seed phrase, which is like your social security number for cryptocurrency. Wow. But if somebody has those, you could sign on from any phone or, you know, PC and you put in that phrase and you can drain that account. So that's your security to the blockchain. Yeah. So you, you cannot give that out to anybody. Got security it. is, is, you know, a blessing and a curse with crypto, uh, cause it's so secure, but, um, you can't lose that. You need to have your seed phrase. Even like if you were to lose your phone, you can't call up Coinbase and be like, Hey, I forgot uh, my seed phrase. They'll be like, we don't store it anywhere. That's because we're very secure. So you need to have that, but also you cannot give it out to people that you don't trust and people are very scammy. So know what groups you're getting into. That's why the in Rust we trust, uh, Facebook page, we don't tolerate any bullshit. You know, we, we have 23,000 members, but we've also declined and removed 23,000 members mm. because people are scammers. It is a very tough business to be honest in. So you need to know what you're doing, but sit back, don't even comment, just get into some of these things and you'll learn some of the verbiage, uh, some of the words like, you know, when Lambo, what does that mean? It means when is this coin going to go up so much that I can get a Lamborghini? I actually when Lambo, like that. You know, like, yeah. uh, you know, FOMO, like, like fear of missing out, all that kind of stuff. FUD, fear, uncertainty, doubt. Um, the, these acronyms get tossed around everywhere. You should know what these mean. The jargon. Yeah. The crypto and, jargon. And once you learn that, you're like, oh, wow, like, I'm starting to get it. I'm getting, like, the vibes of what crypto is in the mm -hmm. community. Um, but yeah, start there. Just immerse yourself. Uh, Paola, when Lambo Warrior Consulting? Okay. Tomorrow. Hurry up. Mañana. Faster. Mañana. Rápido, rápido. Yeah, rápido. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's go. No comprende. Right. <laughs> Lambo for you. I want you pulling up in a Lambo. Mm, yeah, no. Yeah. I want something else. <laughs> okay, now you know what she wants? She wants a Land Rover Defender. You've seen the Defender? Oh, those are nice. Defender. Those, those are that's nice that's trucks. My, car. my uh My buddy here in Milford owns the Range Rover Land Rover oh, yeah. service shop. Josh. Josh, I know Josh. Oh, you know Josh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Josh, Josh, Josh uh, works with one, with one of my companies. He's a great dude. Yeah. And his wife, um, yep. Darlene. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll get her hooked up when, uh, when Lambo. We'll say when Defender. Well, yeah. see, you know, one of, one of my most popular. Um, posts on my my page uh i was explaining what when lambo means yeah and i said you know for everybody out there who you know is new or even like experienced in the industry when lambo doesn't necessarily mean when's my lamborghini you know everybody i want everybody here to post what's your lambo like what you know it's a, sure. it's a phrase sure sure you know and people are like my wet Lambo is paying off my student loans. Sure. My debt. My yeah. redoing my kitchen. Yeah, whatever the you know, like upgrading my grand car. Is. Yeah, exactly. Like that's what when, when, Buy a when first Lambo. House. It's 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 a whole it's a whole vision. Right. And, um, and it doesn't really mean it can. You know. Um, could I buy a Lambo? Sure, but the Lambo's not my thing. Like my wet Lambo is just, you know, financial freedom. So. And, and the interesting part about it is. Coming from someone else who can also buy a Lamborghini, however, yeah. has decided not to. Exactly. I don't want a Lamborghini. I, I bump my head every time I get into one. <laughs> yeah, it, I small. scuff my fucking loafers. <laughs> like, but the point is, and these what shoes I, are like two hundred bucks. Yeah, you know? exactly. And what I'm, and when, what we're getting at here is understanding the jargon, and it doesn't necessarily have Just, to be a Lambo. Yeah, and then you understand what what everything in crypto really is. It's not all just like you know. Lambo, Lamborghini, like, no, 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 no. Like, and besides, most people who have a Lambo are douchebags. So. Also, it could, <laughs> correct. Also, the, the last time I got into a Lamborghini, it was an Aventador SVJ. Have you ever been in one? No. It's like, uh, I think it's trading for about 800 grand right now. You can't open the fucking door. <laughs> you can't. Like, you, you, like the door, the door knob, which isn't a doorknob, the, the way to open the door is like, it's going to hit you in the face as you bring it up. <laughs> like, it's not fun. No. And it's not fun to sit in either. <laughs> Does it sound great? Yeah, it's a V12, but that's not the point. The point is you're teaching everyone right now to immerse yourself in the culture of cryptocurrency, understanding the acronyms and the jargon yeah. first and foremost. Yeah, just see, people want like adoption of cryptocurrency uh, because 
people in crypto are impatient, as I've said right. many, many, many times. Right. But education is first. So if you know a little bit about it, educate your friend who knows nothing. All right. right. If you know a lot about it, educate all of your friends. Education is first. Adoption is second. Um, it's one of the things when Congress did the hearings on cryptocurrency and they interviewed Coinbase's CEO, FTX CEO, like uh, three other. Hot seat, huh? I mean, yeah, they, they Congress was um, snide as fuck and uneducated. The questions they were asking were stupid as shit. I mean, just in cryptocurrency or uh, they, everything uh, else in the world? Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, nah, yeah. you know, we don't have no. to go down that I rabbit mean, hole. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be assassinated. <laughs> I don't know if I'm, I'm famous enough to be assassinated or killed at this point, but yeah. Um, I, yeah I'll protect the, you. Uh, <laughs> true, I got you. True, true. Yeah. Yep. My body armor is literally right there. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I know Congress wants to, to talk about cryptocurrency and they haven't even gone through step one. They are not educated. Right. They ask stupid, just ridiculous questions. And they are saying, let's not adopt it, but we're not going to educate ourselves on it either, which is what you'll find if you go to any um, lazy as fuck financial advisor. They're going to say, no, nah, crypto is stupid. Um, all right. Ask your financial advisor a simple question. Can you explain what Bitcoin is? And if they say it's stupid, ask them again, but what is it? So you don't really know what it is, but you're saying it's stupid. Fuck off. You're not my financial advisor anymore. Okay. Um, and that's, that's honestly, it's because lazy people, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, go through a, you know, 24 year old financial advisor. They're going to make you more money than, than the 50 year olds. Cause they understand because you know, they take the time to understand yeah. and I'm sorry, they're not putting all of their money in Disney is Disney a great stock. Sure. Great. Have fun you know, with your 4% annual returns. Right. But if you're risk tolerant at all. With a CPI at of all, 20%. Yeah. Way, where you're losing I 16% mean, you know, a if year If you're in crypto, your like, come on. Yeah, you, yeah. you shouldn't, you shouldn't <laughs> be risk averse. Like, you should be risk tolerant to an extent. And, uh, you know, you, you got to go through people that are actually taking the time to, you know, learn new things. And crypto is the way of the future. So... Guys, we, we've just barely gotten into this conversation. If you have any questions right now, okay, what I want you to do is I want you to drop the questions in the comment section if you're watching on YouTube. Ask Rusk a question because yeah. clearly he understands what he's talking about. I don't really, however, I generally understand what we're talking about. And if for some reason he can't answer it, I will help him and answer it for him. So drop, drop a comment. And if you haven't liked the show, like the show and definitely subscribe. Yeah, please. Okay. Right. So thank you. So Russ, uh, Okay, so we understand the basics of the ignorance of Congress, yep. jargon of cryptocurrency, immersing yourself into the conversation now. Can you tell us just a little bit about maybe uh, seven years ago, that, that initial 12, how fast you grew, how you're looked at as an international expert in CNN go-to for cryptocurrency? Um, yeah, you know, it, it was very slow. It, I mean, I, I remember... You know, asking questions, you know, like, what does HODL mean? Uh, H-O-D-L, uh, for instance, that is something that, um, you know, in 2010, when Bitcoin was very, very, very new, um, one of the main um, influencers on cryptocurrency, he had this whole, like, write-up on Bitcoin, and he labeled it, like, just hold, but he misspelled hold. It's H-O-D-L, and he didn't change it, and people have, like, adopted it as like a, almost like a rite of passage. If you know what HODL means, like you're in, you know? And, but like, I remember asking, you know, what is that even like, what the fuck is this? You know? It sounds like Lord um, of the Rings or something. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you know, right? yeah. HODL. <laughs> but uh, you know, um, I got made fun of a little bit for that one. But the thing is, you know, na now I, I remember when I was a complete idiot on crypto. And like me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, definitely. Like, definitely. Ne never as, as dumb as you, but... Sure. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I take it for the team. No, really, <laughs> it's how dumb Paolo is. <laughs> Paolo, you got any crypto? 
No, todavía. Dumb as fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean that that that's why that that's why the the Facebook group is cool because you know we don't tolerate you know bullying and that crypto literally is just bullying. And if everybody had their head on straight and realized that the more people you teach, the more money you're gonna make. No. They can't do that. People are dumb. Well, and people make fun of selfish. people for dumb questions. And we don't do that. But because I, I I never forget where I came from, where I was just a complete idiot. Um, but you know, we if you were to be in that original WhatsApp group, um, I mean that's the who's who in crypto. A lot of them I've partnered up with um, with a company called Excel, A C C E L. Fantastic. I mean, the some of the smartest cryptocurrency people in the world. And, you know, like I said, it took seven years. We grew um, as a group, but uh, yeah, you know, you just keep learning, you keep learning. And we had taught enough people that, you know, eventually Bitcoin became like a household name. And not and that wasn't all us, for, definitely not. But you but, helped with the delivery oh, yeah. of the and, education. And we, that's what we were all on board with. You know, we all knew that we needed to teach people and, um, yeah, it's just uh, that's where it all started, and then you know all these other new things like uh, like I said, Discord and you know Telegram, everything popped up like to talk about cryptocurrency. You know, like uh, decentralized type sites where they don't share info. Um, you know, you, you can't be like recorded. Um, it's all you know Snapchat even, so it's all private. So. You go from 12 people in WhatsApp to a Facebook group talking about Shiba, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. And that group grows from 12 people on WhatsApp to 1,000 people on Facebook to 10,000 in a week to 40,000? Yeah, right. Um, yeah, 63,000 people on the Shiba group. Uh, we were approached by the um, developers of Shiba, Ryoshi and Shitoshi to label our group the official Shiba token page like for the world uh, because our, you were a Facebook group yep okay. yep so that's what we developed okay, um, just making sure uh, me and uh, my friend Brad started that and um, yeah after that then people were asking on the page for more advice on other other tokens or other coins and then I kind of got reprimanded because I was giving them advice outside I got, of Shiba I got, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And I'm like, first off, like, guys, you're not paying me, okay? Like, <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. You can't tell me what to do. Yeah. So as a joke, Take like, notes, Powell. people, uh, it was trending like on the page, uh, you know, in Rust We Trust, which at first I really hated the name. I really did. I'm like, oh, this is annoying. And now you have a but, business. And then I was, so, but that's how people knew me. They're like, you know, whatever Rust says, like in Rust We Trust. And I was like, okay, cool, whatever. So I started this, you know, page and it blew up. Like like crazy. So you went from a thousand to ten thousand in a week. So now now it's twenty twenty three thousand in the Facebook group, and it's sixty three thousand on the Shiba group, um, and we don't really focus too much on our uh, numbers. You'll see Facebook groups uh, with th three hundred thousand people, a million people. Russ is being very modest right now. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, it's quality over quantity. Like we will get to a hundred grand, like in members, but. You, if you go to these other pages, it's one person running, quote unquote, the page. It's not moderated at all. Mm. You know, people are, you know, using slanders here and there, f bot, like just real dirty shit. That, that's a dump, that's a dumpster fire. Like, if you if you want to get your money stolen, go join a Facebook group with three hundred thousand people. You know, if you want a quality group that's not like we're actually going to do our best to make you money, then you join our group. Can I, uh, it, can I give you an example on yeah. display? Uh, I'm in a lot of Facebook groups uh, as a business consultant and, and, and referred to as an expert yeah. quite oh, regularly. Yeah. But the point that I'm getting at is there's a particular Facebook group that I'm in that has about 79,000 members. Uh, I won't say the name of it just because I believe in... Um, well, I believe in being real. However, I believe in being honest. Yeah. And this one group has 79,000 members in the, in the one admin runs an advertisement for his PDF book uh, once a week and he gets three likes. Yeah. 79,000 people. 
all of a sudden this year in 2022, he's been getting beginning to educate on cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. He's like, we're rebranding, we're doing this, we're yeah. doing that. And the interesting part about it is I pay attention to everything and I see exactly what you just said. Yeah, I mean, for 23,000 people, we have 15 paid moderators. We need every single one of them. You got to clean it up. You, you, I mean, every, like people just will post the most ridiculous stuff and people are making fun of people. It's like, so we'll give people warnings. We're not going to like immediately kick you out. Yeah, you got to have you know, rules. There, there's, there's, right. cer there's certain like red cards, you know, there's certain words you can't say. I'm pretty sure if you really think about it, you can figure out a couple words you really can never say. Right. Um, and we're like, no, you don't get a second chance. Get the fuck out of here. Right. But like, like if they drop the end bomb or something. Yeah. We've yeah, seen exactly. that. Yeah. Um, you know, it's like, like are you oh, that ignorant? Like, get the fuck out of here. Thugger? Like, blah, blah, blah. It's like, are you kidding me? Like my, like my best friend's gay. Like, you, no, you can't say that shit, bro. Like right. stop. Right. You know, like you can't. Like, we don't tolerate that. But, you know, when people are like shilling their own coins, talking about that, we're like, all right, hey, look, every Friday we have what's called Free For All Friday, uh, FFAF. Yeah, big post. And you can talk about other coins uh, and, you know, get it out. But we'll, we'll educate people and say, all right, you know, we, we don't do this on Tuesdays. That's that's not a big deal. Right. But then, you know, people are like, oh, like, like I said, like, what does HODL mean? People are like, oh, are you a fucking retard? Oh, it's like, Dude, come on. So we'll message them, we'll mute them for seven days and be like, here, like read the rules again. Read our rules yeah, that you the rule. entered the page. Yeah. Um, we are a very clean group, at least we try to be. So I, I think we're the cleanest group on anything I've ever seen. And we do a lot of research to collaborate with other clean groups. We haven't found many that meet our standards. All right, guys, so so let's cap off Let's cap off your your Facebook group that you yeah. you have fifteen paid admins. Yeah, uh, it, I mean it's what it takes, and that's to clean it up. Yeah, I mean you can't make a group like we have uh, because you have a lot of followers or whatever. Like you know, I started on just people that believed in what I was doing, and they accepted no payments, but they would get my picks. Like we would go over the picks and say, you know, what is something we should buy? Well, what do we think is a good coin to invest in? And out of our 15 admins, I think 10 of them have become millionaires. Of those like yeah. 100 from last yeah, year? Yeah, just, just from accepting nothing in fiat currency, just saying, we're gonna do this based on, we believe in what you're doing and investing in your picks with very little money. So, so hold on a second. I don't mean to interrupt you. Yeah. All right. They followed the advice that you're giving in your Facebook group. Yep. You're paying them to moderate now, it. Now, yeah. And now they're millionaires because of it. Yeah, yeah. Huh. And um, yeah, it's it. So they listen to you. They listen to me, but you know what? They are the best. Like without them, I cannot run my page. Ah, I, I cannot. A tribal leader. I'm telling you right now. Very good. Yeah, these, these people that have like 30,000, 40,000 followers, um, see, I never call the people on my page followers. I just don't like the term. So I always say members, but when these other guys, they have followers mm -hmm. and they don't have moderators. They don't want to pay a dime for help and they don't have any really like no value. They don't have any, they, they're not researching picks. They probably couldn't read a chart for their for fucking life, you know? And what we do is we bring value to the table as, as a team. And um, that's why we've been so successful is just, you know, being able to keep everything crisp, clean, honest, and, uh, you know, give good value to our community. Can I share a story? Please. Uh, one of my favorite authors is Napoleon Hill. Are you familiar with him? It's familiar, but I do not know. He's like arguably the OG of personal development author. He's been writing since like the 20s. He wrote the book, Think and Grow Rich, if you ever oh, heard about yes, it. Yes, I have heard that. It's about basically understanding the law of attraction, how to manifest things into your life, whether it be wins in cryptocurrency and trading or maybe manifesting a partner of your dreams. Anyways, long story short, he, uh, the point that I'm getting at is he learns everything from his mentor, Andrew Carnegie. 
It, oh, yeah. You know who Andrew Carnegie uh, yeah. is? Yeah, yeah, Anyone that doesn't know who Andrew Carnegie is, Andrew Carnegie was a steel tycoon at the turn of the 19th century. Yeah. However, he didn't know anything about steel. What he knew about was story, actually, yeah. how to develop his people. Mm -hmm. And Andrew Carnegie is known for his mastermind, which is his inner network of people or moderators. And what he did was he turned all of his people into multimillionaires in 1900. <laughs> okay. I love it. So let, I, got, with I, that, I definitely have a follow-up story for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the point, and, and please, but the point is Andrew Carnegie turned his people that worked for him into multimillionaires in 1900 and knew nothing That's about crazy. steel. He knew yeah. nothing about steel. So let's just, let's just for a second compare you to Andrew Carnegie. Andrew Carnegie is was arguably worth more than Musk and Bezos together. Oh yeah, scale okay. great. Yeah, knew oh nothing gosh. about the industry, but relied on his team and made them all filthy rich. So Napoleon Hill learned everything that he wrote about through Andrew Carnegie. Okay, Andrew Carnegie chose Napoleon Hill to interview him before he died. He had never been interviewed. Hmm. Okay. Napoleon Hill wrote Think and Grow Rich. It's, it's sold 200 million copies in the past 100 years. Yeah. It's the basics of law of attraction. Yep. Ever since I read, and you, you see my bookshelf. Yeah. I mean, my book's up there, but yeah. you know, uh, I, couldn't compare, I couldn't compare myself to Napoleon Hill. <laughs> but the point is, and what I'm getting at is, ever since I read that story, I've built teams, Russ. But I've never built teams of millionaires and multimillionaires. I've only achieved myself. So I thought to myself, okay, as a leader, how can I do this? Like literally, like how can I turn my team into millionaires? So hearing you talking about turning your team into millionaires through your education is fucking motivation, bro. Yeah. As yeah. an entrepreneur. Oh, and you know, if anybody can do it, I mean, you you have that uh, street cred, for lack of a better word, that you you know you have people that trust you, and that's yeah. that's the thing. People want to follow oh, the relationship. You know, people, yeah. people want to be like, oh, I could do what Chris and Russ do. Oh yeah, well, it's easy. Yeah. No, fuck you. You can't. No. No, you, you need to put the time in. You got to put like, the work. You got to put in years and years. You got to prove yourself. Put and the you're decade. To, you know, yeah. And so that's why me and you are where we're at. But, um, yeah, you know, one of the uh, first things I said to my team, I actually... Uh, oh, tell me, tell me. I had people come over to my house back in March. And, uh, of uh, last year? Yep. And this was a month after Sheba. People had already made a lot of money off of Sheba. And we had about 50 people. Actually, we had a film crew there. And I Like said, a legit film crew? Legit film crew. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. From New York. And I said... If you work for me right now, I was like, I do not have the ability to pay you. But if you believe in what I'm doing, uh, you know, we will all uh, work on our picks. I'm going to teach you guys how to analyze stocks, crypto, everything. And we will, like, you know, there's nothing set in stone, but I am telling you, I'm very confident I can make every single person here millionaires. And that is what uh, I think it was the owner of Marriott. Uh, when they, they first started, he brought everybody together uh, from the shoe shiners to the wait staff uh, to the room cleaners, everybody. And he said, if you stand by what I believe in, if you believe in me, you know about I will this. make sure yeah. that every single one of you will become a millionaire for working for me. And he did that. A hundred years ago. Always, always stood by that philosophy is treat your employees right. Uh, you know, do what's right, be honest about it. Um, you know, you're always gonna have setbacks, you know, roadblocks, but um, you know, if you're, if you're doing everything like as you believe in and you're doing it right and honest, like you can, you can achieve pretty awesome things. And we are way ahead of the game from where I thought would be, we haven't even been in real business. Like, that was 11 yeah, months ago. I mean, ago. we're an LLC right now. That was now. 11 we're, months ago. Yeah, we're official, but like, yeah, that was 11 months ago. Like 11 months ago, now, this is my second LLC, 
Um, yeah, like it's it's freaking crazy. But that's the thing. Like, you know, now I got people coming up to me that were some of the original people that fell off. They're like, oh, I don't work for you yet. I'm like, we don't, we don't have. Nah, we got no nah, room nah, for you, we're dude. Good. Nah, because I got you know. I've, I've got you I know, know, that. Nick I know that. and Bernadette yeah. and you know yeah. uh, Matt and you know everybody that's been with me since we guaranteed you nothing and you worked for me with me because they made a fucking investment yep. in you. Yep. Yeah. And so now, oh, people are coming out of the woodwork. So, oh, 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 oh. no, fuck you. Like, we'll, 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 you know, we'll address that down the road. But now, you know, it's uh. Now we're proven, and that's everybody wants to not work, make money, and they want to jump on the bandwagon while the bandwagon is going 100 million miles an hour. No, 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 no. You weren't here when we couldn't even, you know, get the wheels right. So. Uh, I'll let you mop the floor. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. You want entry yep. level? Uh, you can work your way up. Oh uh, no, Chris, no. Exactly. Okay. Well, guess yep. what? Yeah. Sorry. It's fine. I Sorry, mean, I got people like Paolo. You know what? Because I remember where. I was exactly what the fuck I had to do to work for this shit, man. This shit is not easy. We could shoot Are a whole show me? on this. This is not easy. Like <laughs> it's just so much work. Like I, I tell people, I'm like my quality of life has actually downgraded because sometimes they get so burnt out. I'm like that little puppy that just runs around and is like passes out, just falls over. I'm just like, <sighs> like. <laughs> And I, I sleep, I'll sleep for like two days straight because I'm so exhausted. Do you know what this is called? Do you know what that's called? I don't know. <laughs> in, in business sense, do you know what uh, that is I'm, called? Uh, what, do you, what do you got? A visionary. Yeah. Have you ever heard of that? Yep. 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 Uh, uh, very popular visionaries would be Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Warren Buffett. Yep. And that's just in our time. Andrew Carnegie, John D. Rockefeller. Jeez, Vanderbilt. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. And, and you can go back two millennia. The, the, well, I mean, the either, philosophers even, uh, of Greece. We're talking Bill Gates. Bill like Gates, started, exactly. They started out of their garage. Exactly. I started out of my. I started out of my garage, fucking, you know, my like, basement <laughs> apartment. You know, <laughs> like as yep. a business owner, guys, and and like this is this is the gold that I want to bring right to the show. As a business owner, if you can sell your vision to your people, whether it's one person or fifteen or at my peak sixty and. Add a zero to that, 600, yeah. 6,000, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many fucking people it is. The yeah. point is, if you can sell your vision and they buy in, right? And they believe in you and they take a fucking chance on you, yeah. will and you that, not take care of them forever? That, and that's the thing, exactly. And, you know, people uh, will, you know, some of my friends are like, why don't you just walk away? I'm like, can I? Absolutely, I can retire right fucking now i could walk away from this podcast and retire but i want to teach people what i know i want to make more millionaires i want to make people money because uh you know it's not that money is you know, the root of happiness but money buys a lot of uh makes things you nice. know it just makes things easier <laughs> yeah, you know? I'm sorry, it certainly does let's just not fucking beat around the bush yeah. here um in the success stories that i hear uh, some people pay off, you know, their weddings, uh, some divorces, you know, but you know, that's a success. Sure. Um, uh, people paying off their student loans, uh, people paying off or investing into their child's uh, college funds. Yep. Um, there's nothing better than, than, no. than those stories. And that's what motivates me. Of course, I don't need to freaking work. Like I, I just love what I do and I want to teach people and, uh, I don't need to, to, uh, you know, be, uh, like dishonest to do it right now, you no. know. Like I, I want people to succeed. There's this saying that I use on social media: "Let's win together." Yeah, right. Hundred percent love that. Yeah. Right. So the point is, and what I'm getting at is, your team is are are, are at least a bunch of millionaires. Yeah. Right. How great is that to experience as and think about it as a leader as rolling the dice with them hey listen motherfuckers you want this opportunity <laughs> this is the opportunity now a year a year later dude that's so fucking fast yeah. how great is that to be able to look at them as a leader that's as crazy. a leader speak as a leader as a leader and be like you know what i helped build this 
yeah, no, like one of my um, one of my uh, <laughs> my friends, Sean, who we were we were never really that that close. Um, we had known each other through adult kickball leagues, which is so fun, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. So you're, you're fucking around, like it's mostly like drinking and just playing kickball. Yeah, getting drunk. And um, but no, I've always respected him. He's he's just such a great, like a, a true awesome person. And uh, he he had worked for the postal service for 25 years. Wow. And he invested a couple hundred bucks in Toshiba. He put his with time me. in. And uh, yeah, and. Um, uh, 11 months later, he retired from the postal service. Wow. Uh, he just bought a $93,000 Tesla. Fucking awesome. The like, plaid? You know, oh, it's, it's, it's nasty. It's I, so sick. Uh, yeah. You like and, those and, things? I, I mean, I, I don't own one, but I don't, I'm, I'm not against them. They're pretty sweet. Yeah. You know? But, like um, a vacuum cleaner. Like a vacuum cleaner, like with an with an iPad in it. Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> I'm such a car guy, dude. It's, it's, no, 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 no. Please correct. Me. No, it's cool. It's, correct it's, me. It, the, no, the, the Tesla is is, is really nice. Listen, for my, car, my car, my car has awesome. like like 800 horsepower. Like, <laughs> but if a Tesla well, pulls up not, to me, he's I'm not fucked. trying to go 200 miles I'm an hour fucked. with his kids in the car, right? Yeah, I understand. Just, you know, but the you know. Now, now you're, you're 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 derailing me here, Chris. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. Saying I you said that car. I said it, fuck. No. Um. No. It's just like these success <laughs> stories are just fucking fantastic. Paola can't keep her Paola, fucking face shit. straight. What the hell? So he's got a us. he's got a six figure car. We're trying to talk about serious shit here. How are you distracting? <laughs> yeah. Can you cut Paola, the shit? Come on camera. For one <laughs> no. Se- oh. No. Uh. I'm telling you, if I go what'd you do your way? makeup for then? Makeup? <laughs> yeah. Pretty natural. Yeah. I don't even dye my hair. This is so natural. Natural? That you see is not That's bad. fucking bullshit. Oh, bullshit. yeah, it is. I <laughs> see those whites. Whites? <gasps> those whites. What is that? I see them. <laughs> I see oh, them. Oh, that's why. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't want. I don't. Grace. <laughs> Grace, yeah. That's what I have. I don't dye my hair. Everything is natural. Uh-huh. Everything. Uh-huh. Sure. Okay. Right. Sure. Whatever. We're not yeah. going we're not going past that. So this this fucking mailman buys a <laughs> buys no. a vacuum cleaner with an iPad. <laughs> okay, got it. No, I mean I mean he's with Ethereum? He, it's, it's one of my it's it's one of my favorite stories because he um I mean his quality of life and just like his entire personality he upgraded. has been like enhanced. And he's he's the guy who will now go to you know, like a Buffalo Wild Wings and tip like a hundred bucks. You know, like he's just so he awesome. Can. He's great. I, yeah. I love Sean so much. And uh, Jen, his wife, their kids. Because like, he wants to give back. And, and that's the thing, yeah. you know? And those are the kind of people I support on my team. Yeah. Those kind of people we have. Um, and we're always looking to, you know, uh, better quality, like, you know, better other lives and, and their uh, just quality of life and everything. And yeah, so it's cool. As a business consultant and someone who's built now six companies yeah, of my own, something that I have found that has worked really well for me is some of my best team members are my clients. Yeah. And you turn them into because they want to and they come yep. to you and they say, yo, Chris, like, dude, like, what can I do to work for you? Yeah. And yep. you're like, you know what? I can't pay you right now. However, if you are interested, like I have this opportunity. Not a yep. fucking problem. Tell me how to get started. Yeah. I have several of those. It sounds like you have several, oh. had several of those too, including him. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, no. I've, I've got a ton of people that want to work for me right now. I just don't have the um, capacity and the time to be training a lot of new employees. We could use it, but... Um, I, I it, it's just it's a lot, you know. Yeah. And, and I, I'm gonna I get it. I'm gonna dedicate myself to the people that believed in me before they were promised anything. So loyalty. Yep. Absolutely. Loyalty. I respect that. Yep. Now, before we close this show out, there's several things that we want to talk about. Yep. However, we're gonna turn this into a series because, oh. you know what Russ said. Russ said, you know what. Uh, it doesn't matter that I'm on CNN. It doesn't matter that I'm on Fox. What else are you on? I mean, uh, yeah, Benzinga and like a bunch of different articles here and there. I mean, yeah, a lot of things. 
Like, what did you say? Like 25 million views? Oh, ben, uh, Benzinga has 25 million viewers on their webpage every month. Um, Benzinga's had me back twice because I called Sheba uh, for them last March. And, um, yeah. This, Russ is like, listen, I, I just want to educate some people and help you guys get into cryptocurrency primarily, yep. regardless of his firm that will help you. And we're gonna get into that here in a second. But we were gonna talk about all sorts of fucking things today, but it won't do you any justice. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna, we're gonna close out this show and we're gonna create this into a series where we're not only gonna talk about more crypto, but we're gonna talk about metaverse, we're gonna talk about Web three. We're yeah. gonna talk about NFTs too. Do some due diligence here, and you know, we'll, we'll let's put in the time to do everything right instead of trying to rush it into like you know one hour segment. Yeah. Because what kind of justice does that actually Stop. do? No. And I'm a business guy, so I'm always like, oh, you created a hundred millionaires. Like, let's talk about that because <laughs> like that's Guinness Book of World Records. <laughs> like, like. I've never done that, so let's hear what he has to say. So the point is, if if someone is interested in, in cryptocurrency, maybe they haven't gotten into it yet. Yeah. What kind of like 101 advice would you give them? Start off, join the Facebook group in Rust We Trust. Like just like I said, you can stand back and just watch and just learn and just like see what people are posting. And then if you want to contribute and be like, hey, ask questions on what is that? What is this? Whatever. Do that. That's a great 101. Uh, and then you will actually within a couple, like maybe even a month, you won't even realize that you actually know more than most people do about cryptocurrency. Interesting. You know, we're, it's a very educational page. So if, if I wanted to, to join your Facebook page, which I'm not a part of, would I just go to In Rust We Trust? Yeah, In Rust We Trust on Facebook. Um, and you have to be permitted? It, you answer questions like, do you like, you know, do you know that Russ has a monthly subscription that you can, you know, pay for to get sure. picks early? Uh, what is four plus four? Like, just to make sure you're not a bot. 17. You know? Yeah, correct. Exactly. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, so, so let's say outside of your Facebook group, right? Like, yep. Like, if someone wants to get into crypto, like, what are some free things that they could do? YouTube. YouTube, crypto, or whatever questions you have. On YouTube, unless you are really, really dumb, you're not going to get scammed because you're just watching videos. Interesting. So, educate yourself on just, like, hey, go, like, YouTube basics of crypto or blah, blah, blah. You know, like, just, that's it. But just take that first step. Right now, 13% of the people in the world own a cryptocurrency wallet. 87% do not. I'm 13%. I don't know shit. I literally, like, I don't know shit. I just buy Bitcoin and Ethereum. There's just so much growth. Like, we're, we're in stage one of the California gold rush right now. So, <laughs> we've got so much room to grow. It's not even, it's not even funny. Like, China, Russia, who... Uh, capitalize on 30% of the world's cryptocurrency are literally banning crypto. They will come around once the government buys enough crypto to be like, now we accept it. Oh, fucking idiots. Um, so, and, hey, US government did the same thing five years ago, by the way, in Congress. I won't get into it, but they did the same thing. And uh, yeah, you know, once uh, we tap into the other 87%, it's the sky's the limit. So, as a former gym owner, okay, yep, nineteen percent of Americans owned a gym membership. <laughs> I'm talking about all of America. Nineteen percent owned a gym membership and just, until Planet Fitness. <sighs> Planet Fitness came in and got people to sign up from their couch. Uh -oh. They're not a gym; they're a marketing company. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Yep. So that's the key. Ninety nine cents a star. Yeah, yeah. that's yep. the key. Yep. Like, what can we and do? You know what? And that is the thing. It's just like get off your fucking couch and just start asking questions about crypto. Educate yourself, and you'll. All right, crypto is an open book exam for adults. If you pass it, you will become a millionaire. There are not. 
questions about whether you will become a millionaire, it is how many times over. Just do your fucking research, that's it. People don't want to put in the time. Right. That's it. And if they, they don't. if they don't want to put in the time, where can they find you to help them? Uh, Facebook page is the uh, easiest thing. I do very small amounts of uh, private consulting. It's usually um, for just like like billionaires and people that you I, consult billionaires. Yeah. Yep. Um, Fuck, man. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, just it's not worth my time to be honest. Like we're just so busy. And you're here teaching us how to do this. Yeah. Well, I mean, because you, you're paying me a million dollars for the show. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, my bad, <laughs> Paola. Send, send the pal, send the PayPal over friends and family, please. <laughs> So there's no fees. I'm not paying that three percent fee. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no fees. I will. Can you send them some Ethereum too? What else do you want? Wow. Well, wow. Well, we'll, we'll hold that off. <laughs> I mean, I'm talking about money. Oh. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, fucking pile. Of <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you can sold billionaires. Yes, I do. How, I'm not going to ask you how that is, but if if people want to work with you. Um, if you want one-on-one -on -one consulting, um, with how busy we are right now, it's, it's expensive. It is. Sure. Because it's not, that I, it's, it, it's not like, I mean, I just don't have time. So if you really, you know, want that, yes, you can reach out to me, uh, like, uh, in rut sweet trust crypto at gmail.com. Um, but very few people, once they learn about like literally like how busy we are and how much it would really cost, you know, they're like, oh, uh, I'm like, yeah, just like I said, just post on the page. You're going to get the same answers. You're not going to get, you know, private one-on-one -on -one coaching. Free Facebook page? Free Facebook page. In it's Rust free. We Trust? Yeah. And, yeah. And they can turn themselves into a millionaire? We've done a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> So, so they can find you at in Rust We Trust on Facebook page. Yeah. Okay. And we we've got in, like in Rust We Trust Crypto I think on Instagram and Crypto Rust D on Twitter. Um, but you know I, I focus a lot on my Facebook page. I just feel like it's more engaging, and we can help a lot more people to educate people on Facebook rather than Twitter and Instagram. But well, because you have a community. Um, yeah. Yeah. And like I said, I don't. I, I hate Telegram because I've just seen so many people That's where the have their scams money are. stolen yeah. from it. So, but yeah, for private one-on-one -on -one consulting, um, it's not cheap. Not because I'm like full of myself. I just don't have the time to do it. You know, I really don't. And I I value my time more than anything. So, well, because you understand time is the most important aspect. Yeah, and yeah. that's the thing. So I want to help people, but if I you know, what we were talking about before, I'm not going to name names, but we were talking about the one guy was talk, like, you know, who pitched me and I was like, look, let's just stop here. I cannot in good faith take your money. Right. You need to you just. You sent him his money you, back. Yeah. I was like, no, I'm going to send your money back. You need to just post these questions on Facebook. You need to get your shit together. You need to do your own uh, just building of your brand. You're, this is way too early for me to help you. And I'm going to be honest with people, which. You're never gonna find that in cryptocurrency business. People are like, yeah, and uh, thanks for three ETH, you know. And I don't, I don't, I don't need the money. Uh, of course, I, yeah. Who, who doesn't want ten grand? But the thing is, like, I'm not gonna steal your fucking money because I'm gonna be honest with you and say, look, come back at me in six months if you are focused. When you have your shit and together. And then I'll gladly accept your money because I'm gonna make you more. But that's it. Right. I'm not here to take people's money. No. So. And that's not the point of education. Not at all. Is there a piece that you have to pay to play? Absolutely. However, you have to be ready to pay to play. And the amount of people that I tell no, I can't help you, yep. is 95% in comparison to the 5% that yep. I could be like, listen, man, I'm $1,000 an hour, so yep. send the $1,000 over and I'll talk to you. But I yep. vetted them before they send off. See, I bet people after, because we're just like. <sighs> right, right, like, yeah, you're yeah. taking well, it. Well, actually, I mean, well, yeah. you know, some of my, my admin teams will, will try and vet them, but sure. some of them maybe aren't. Mistakes happen. Like, it's just not as adequate as like what I would do to vet them. 
And, and so I'll, not you. I'll give them a benefit of the doubt yeah. and say, all right, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll accept a phone call. But it's then after like a minute or two, you know, yeah. and it's like, look, I'm not going to take your money, bro. And you're literally saving them time and money. Um, I'm giving them a free life lesson. I'm just saying, look, I'm not in this for the money, but it does pay. You have to pay to play. Yeah. If we're going to do this, I also have to compensate my admins. Right. This is not free. Right. We're not a charity. Right. Uh, we do a lot of charity. Oh, you're not giving. a 501c3? 501c3? Oh. We might as well be because we donate so much fucking money. Huh. But yeah. <laughs> we donate <laughs> so much money. Yeah. We, we donate a shit ton. Yeah. But no. We're not um, going to get into how much I like, donated last year. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> More than most people oh, make in a year. Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I know. No, trust. Yo, I, that's or this year. I know. I donated so much freaking money. Yeah, dude, me like, too. Yeah, I get it. But that's not my, like, I'm here right. because We're not a chair. I also would like to make some money too. Sure, sure, <laughs> sure, sure. But yeah, so. Okay, so we get it. So in Rust, we trust on Facebook. On Instagram, what are you? Uh, Instagram, I think, is in Rust, we trust crypto. And then on Twitter is Crypto Russ D. Let's say, let's say a millionaire wants to get in touch with you. Where would they go? Email me in RussWeTrustCrypto at gmail.com. Uh, then uh, we can talk and discuss about really what your goals are, how much you're looking to invest, and then we set a price on that. Um, there's no price structure because I'm not going to charge you 10 grand if you're only investing five, you know? Right. We have lots of ways to be able to find you, Russ. We appreciate your time. You've been here for what, like three hours? Like 17. Oh, yeah. So my bill's what, like 30 grand? That's it. That's it? <laughs> no, it's just a few margaritas, actually. <laughs> and to make fun of Paola. But uh, Paola, not paid it all. Paola paid it all. How'd you pay it oh, all, well, Paola? Caprinha. Oh, what? Caprinha. <laughs> no, you're like, oh, I love Paola, so yes, I will do it for free. Shit. <laughs> if you come on camera, I'll forgive you about that caprinha you ever made me. You you're doing my pachaca. Come on, muddle some. I will I muddle, will come on, what's your show? In a minute. <laughs> Paola, you need to get closer to him. That's what he wants. He's like... That's what I want? Yeah. You're the one telling me to sit on his lap. <laughs> <laughs> so, so outside of Paola being crazy and okay, loca yeah. and, and loco, you know, fucking INS Probably you Telemundo shit. viewers out there are yeah. loco. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Outside of that shit, everyone knows where yeah. to find you. Um, if they want some entry level, it's your Facebook. If they want to maximize their money, yeah. it's your email. Um, if you had to give, we're going to close the show out. So if you had to give uh, basically someone who's interested in cryptocurrency some really fundamental advice on what to do to... Uh, get into the environment outside of immerse yourself into the join our free Facebook group it's free and it's honest which are two things you're not gonna find in crypto honest that's it so you're not gonna find honest in crypto few and far between okay so that just tell us the name of the group again in Russ we trust on Facebook yep and uh, yeah that's it um, I, I'm not lying like the the amount of honest crypto groups on any social media platform is like almost extinct 99 percent. it's literally just a dumpster fire of scams like our economy yep yep oh uh sorry i didn't mean to go political on you guys uh so th so that's where they that's where they find you yeah, yeah. I, di I didn't mean uh, yeah. to like no no that's the easiest yeah. way yeah no for real all right guys listen that's what we got for you. I am super grateful that Russ was able to give us his time. I don't want to see his bill that he's going to send over eventually. Russ, can you send it to somewhere else, please? Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking for pesos. <laughs> I, we appreciate you guys. If you got a comment, drop the comment below. Ask us any questions you want. Smash that like button. 
subscribe to the channel for more because Russ has offered to come back and give us more on Metaverse, Web3, and NFTs. Russ, what do you have for the audience? I mean, you know, this has been fun. You know, love Chris. Guys, I want to help people. I want to educate people. You know, let's educate. Let's adopt cryptocurrency, all this. But we all need to become knowledgeable about this. Mm -hmm. I'm here to help. And uh, this has been great. It's like, I don't know, stage one of our series that's going to be, I don't know, 100, 100 segments. So. Ah. <laughs> hey, guys, I love you. We'll check you out next time. If you have any questions, just drop them below. All right.